Hey guys, um, in this video I'm going to go over how to run Capture Breaker and get it integrated with your software. Um, after you install Capture Breaker, the first thing you want to do is right click on the icon and anytime you run it, run it as administrator. Um, you can also go down to properties and click the compatibility tab and check off run this program as administrator and then hit apply and OK and anytime you open it, it's always going to be run as administrator and you don't have to right click and select that every time. Um, some computers you don't have to even run it as admin it's just if it's not working for you, if it's not connecting um, to your software try and running it as administrator and usually that'll do the trick. Um, so to start off I will show you how to run this with Search Engine Ranker since it's the easiest. The first thing you want to do is go to the options and then click the capture button and then all you need to do is check off right here and select capture breaker and that's all you need to do in search engine ranker I'll quickly go over these options here if you click the options run as web server I'll go over this in a minute this option down here allows you to send um, the failed captures the captures that aren't recognized by Capture Breaker, it'll send them off to a third party capture service so they can solve them. Down here, you have only try to solve if the success rate is whatever you put in here. So, if you don't want it to waste time solving recaptures, since recaptures is only 1%, you can see the percentages here. Um, you can put that here. You might want to put don't solve if it's only try to solve if the success rate is 10% and it's going to skip all those other ones. Um, then over here you have a slider to adjust the speed and accuracy. Obviously accuracy is probably where you're going to want to leave it um, because it's pretty fast even all the way on the accuracy side. So if you leave it there you're going to have a lot better success rate. And then below that you have the option here that is required for certain software. If you're using this, um, if you click this little question mark right here, it'll pop up a box and it tells you check this option if you use tools like the following: Six Submitter, Magic Submitter, SE Nuke. Um, some of these, some of these uh, software will convert the captures to JPEG before sending them to the software, and a Capture Breaker uses the image type for detection to detect what kind of CAPTCHA it is. So if the software does that, you need to make sure and check this button. So if you're using SE Nuke, you would want to check this um, in order for it to work properly. Also, once you have it connected to SE Nuke or uh, Six Submitter or anything like that, you can click the detect button and it will detect that for you. Then below that, you can have it try to solve unknown CAPTCHAs. It's pretty self-explanatory. Um, and then down here, you can save your CAPTCHAs, recognize CAPTCHAs or unsolved CAPTCHAs to a folder in case you want to uh, open those later in the SDK and try to increase the solve rate of a certain platform or CAPTCHA type. You can do that. Okay, well, unfortunately, I don't have any other software installed on this computer like Ultimate Demon or SE Nuke, anything like that so I can't show you exactly how to do it but it's pretty easy if you go into any of your software SEO software um, usually they were gonna have an, an area where you can um, set up your capture providers and if you go there you could for example set up death by capture in that other software and then in Capture Breaker, you would just select Run as Web Server and simulate the following services, and then Death by Captcha in here. And that way, anytime that other software sends a captcha to what it thinks would be uh, Death by Captcha, this software is simulating that service, so it kind of like intercepts that captcha. And um, that's basically how you do it. If the software you're working with already has a Captcha Breaker option integrated into it, then you would select that option. Um, I believe with SC Nuke, they don't have Capture Breaker integrated yet, so you would, um, I believe, select Capture Sniper, and I think that will work the same 
um, it'll still work with Capture Breaker. And if you're using Ultimate Daemon, um, you would select Bypass Captcha, and then in this, you would select Bypass Captcha here. And in the login fields, or anything, if you have a login and password that's required for your CAPTCHA service, you could just put any random numbers and letters, it doesn't matter. So that's all you really need to do to get a, a software running with CAPTCHA Breaker. Um, you can also check this option here if you want, if you're using Ultimate Daemon and you want all the failed CAPTCHAs or unrecognized CAPTCHAs to be sent to a third party service you can set that up here. Another thing I would recommend is if you're using a software that's going to be hitting a lot of higher authority sites like Web 2.0s, a lot of those will use reCAPTCHA and the solve rate the solve rate for reCAPTCHA isn't that great here so well here let me show you. If you right click here search by name and type in reCAPTCHA it'll find that and you can see here it says 1% so there's no point in having this software um, fail fail the submissions because it can't really solve the recaptures very well so what you can do is right click here and click and choose toggle use of captcha service and an option will pop up and say once the selected captcha type is detected it will always be sent to the captcha service instead of trying to solve it so that way anytime your third party uh, or your other software if a recapture pops up it's going to be automatically sent to the service instead of this trying to solve it and and possibly failing the submission that's something you could do for um, Malam captures um, these I know if you're submitting to Drupal they use a lot of these types of captures you could do it for that too um, anything with a submission or the uh, solve rate is pretty low you can do that um, if you don't want to waste having failed submissions the other option here is if you check this send only mark types then it's only gonna send the captures that you check off here normally if you have this unchecked and you have these, if you have this, if you're toggling the use of CAPTCHA services, it's going to send these automatically to the CAPTCHA service that you have set up here. But it's also going to send other, other um, CAPTCHAs that it doesn't recognize. It's also going to send those too. If you only want it to send a certain type of CAPTCHA and not, and ignore all the other CAPTCHAs, then you would check this off here and you select the CAPTCHAs that you want the software to send. So really that's all you need to do to get everything running. Um, I'll go ahead and start this so you can just see what it looks like. Once CAPTCHAs start getting sent over to the software you'll see them appear here in the log. So once you start seeing CAPTCHAs appear here uh, you know that it is now working and there you go so all you need to do is test it with your software when the captures start to appear in the logs you know that it's working there's nothing else you need to do you can just sit and let the software run and in this video I'm not going to go into the SDK but if you're interested in learning how to um, work the SDK and improve captcha types or teach it your own captures you can go to the help menu here and then go to the forum and at the top of the forum there's sticky posts that show how to um, get started in the SDK and that's it